Come on. Man, these things are so addicting. All right, so what are the things that you, no. These things are so addicting. All right, so what are some of the things you need to start your Shopify dropshipping business? For some of you guys that don't know me, it's your boy Juan Valdez here, and I'm coming with you guys from the video. It's pretty much showing you how to get started. I have some notes that I put together for you guys to just show you how easy it is to get started with Shopify dropshipping. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFam. Um, but to kind of jump right into it, because I don't want to waste you know too much of you guys' time, I want to just get right cut right to the chase. Some of the things that you guys are going to need to get started with e-commerce and dropshipping, it's super simple. You probably won't even believe me, but uh, one of the reasons why we chose e-commerce and dropshipping specifically was because for me, you know, me and my business partner Samir, at the time when we were even considering like you know other opportunities, we were doing door-to-door -door sales. Obviously, we didn't have the most money or most capital available to pretty much just go and invest and you know to invest in different products to start a business or you know to really invest in pretty much anything. So we had little capital to get started. So we had to make the most of it. So we figured, why not try e-commerce and dropshipping? The reason why is because, you know, for, for Shopify dropshipping specifically, it actually requires little to no capital to get started. I'm kind of going to do a quick breakdown here. I have some notes to, to kind of show you guys some of the things you need to get started. And it actually requires very little. So one of the reasons why we chose, again, you know, Shopify dropshipping compared to any other business, because there are, are a lot of, trust me, there are plenty of opportunities online to make money. Obviously, everybody's trying to get that internet money, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's trying to get their piece of it. Uh, but a lot of the opportunities that there is online, they all usually require some type of startup capital, almost all the time, right? And usually, you know, for anyone just getting started, they don't really have too much. So me and you guys, we're the same. I'm with you guys on that one. I didn't have much capital to get started, so I completely understand. Now, for you know, for e-commerce and dropshipping, one of the first things you're gonna need to kind of get started. Obviously, it's an internet business, so you're gonna need some Wi-Fi, and you're gonna need a laptop. You're gonna need a computer. I even a laptop. Uh, I'm using this MacBook now, but before, you know, when when we first got started, we had we were using these Surface Pros, and I actually had an old MacBook, but it was like a 2007. This thing weighed like 100 pounds. It felt like I was carrying a a, a dumbbell, you know, when I was walking around. So. Uh, it was not fun, but that's actually the laptop that I was using, and it was a super slow laptop. So if we can use the Surface Pro and a super slow MacBook, I mean, you guys can definitely do the same thing. You don't have to, you don't even need an actual uh, computer. You could actually take advantage of free resources like a public library, take advantage of their, you know, obviously their free internet and their free computer access. So you can, you know, get that rather than having to, you know, pay for internet or actual computer. So just in case, I figured I'd let you guys know that's a resource you guys can use for free. The next one, Obviously, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to Shopify, setting up an actual Shopify account, they have this great program where basically you can start off with a free trial and you can get a full account on their platform, you know, literally free. I actually have a link in my bio. You guys can check it out. Uh, where you can actually get started with a free 14-day free trial. But you can simply just get started on, you know, clicking around, seeing how Shopify works, just getting used to the, the platform itself. Uh, the reason I recommend for you guys to do that now is because it's much better to take advantage of now uh, and just kind of play around with the platform and learn how it all works. That is, if you are planning on obviously starting an e-commerce and dropshipping business, you know, just kind of get to get used to the platform, how it works, all the ins and outs. That way, when the time comes, once you learn how to do the product research, how to learn, once you learn about Instagram influencer shout outs, how to, you know, set up your Facebook ads and all that great stuff, you don't have to go back, you know, in the middle of all that, back to your Shopify and learn how to set up, you know, let's say like your sh your shipping settings or, you know, how to set up your, your, your taxes on it or any of that stuff, right? You can kind of get used to it and get used to the platform and learn how it all works now. So I'd recommend for you guys to check it out. And again, uh, there's a link in my bio. You actually get a free, you get a free two or well, 14 day trial. So you can try that completely free. And then from there on, you can either keep your account, obviously, if you want, and then, or if not, just completely cancel it out. But yeah, basically, after you have your free 14 day free trial, you guys can try it out from there. Well, the next thing you're gonna need, obviously, Facebook fan page, and you're also gonna need a Facebook business manager. So to create either of those, Obviously, there it takes no investment. I'm terrible at spelling, as you guys can see. This is why uh, I was not the best student and why I actually dropped out. Uh, <laughs> so, your Facebook fan page obviously requires no capital. Facebook business manager. 
also re requires no capital. So you guys can, you know, set start setting those up. Obviously, you might not jump right into setting these up just because you might not know, you know, what the name of your store is going to be, what the name of, you know, what kind of niche you're going to get into, what kind of products you're going to sell, any of those. But these are, again, um, resources and tools that you guys are going to need later on that you can start learning how they work and start just playing around with it. You know, you can set up a free Facebook fan page. Um, and you, you can start playing around with it, see how the fan page works, see how the settings work, see how people interact with other fan pages, things like that. Just so, well, again, once the time comes, you know exactly how it works. Now, the business manager, there's a lot actually in, inside of the business manager. There's a lot of settings and a lot of things you can do from it. So I definitely recommend for you guys to start learning about that. Facebook actually has free trainings on you know every, all the features that they have and everything you can do on Facebook. So you can actually learn right on there how to use the business manager or Facebook fan page. So I recommend for you guys to check that out as well. Start learning how it works. Um, the next one from there is once pretty much you've gone through all these and let's say for anyone that's just about ready to start, because usually if you've gone through all of these, um, you usually read about, you, you know, you've usually narrowed down what kind of products you're gonna sell, what niche to get into, things like that. So you're probably gonna be around the phase where you're just getting ready to launch your store. Now, when the time does come for you to launch your store, this will require some capital. And basically what you need the capital for is you might need the capital to run like an Instagram shout out, which you can do that from anywhere as low as 25 bucks all the way to, you know, maybe even a hundred bucks, or maybe even a little more. We've done some from, you know, as low as 30 bucks. We've done some 75 bucks and, you know, it always, it's always a different price because it doesn't pound the influencer, but you will need some capital to run Instagram influencer shout outs. And then from there, you also need some capital to run your Facebook ads, right? Now for your Facebook ads, you might require a little more capital, maybe from like anything like one or 200 bucks, um, or maybe even a little more, but nothing too crazy. I would say for sure, you need less than a thousand to start experimenting on Facebook itself. So uh, I keep that in mind. And again, the reason why, you know, obviously we, rec we think it's a great opportunity for anyone just getting started to any online business is because again, you don't even need that much to start testing and advertising. That's what it takes to kind of get started with that as far as capital wise. The next part is, is going to be, actually I didn't even write that one down, but we'll say as low as 50 bucks for any Instagram shout out all the way up to you know, we'll put the max a thousand, right? We'll do the max a thousand, but that's like really pushing it. When we first got started, we didn't have much capital. I think the most we had set aside was like $2,000 where, you know, we were gonna either risk it and completely just, you know, our mindset when we first getting started e-commerce and drop shipping was, you know, I have this, I have this $2,000, you know, you know, worst case, we just lose the whole $2,000 and we learned some type of skills about, you know, obviously marketing and running an online business you know, best case, we end up, you know, building somewhat of a business and we can at least break even or make some profit. That's the mindset that I had coming in. And I think for you guys, you can pretty much bring on the same mindset, except now you guys have a lot, you guys are going to have a lot more resources and tools um, to actually grow your e-commerce business than we did. We didn't have any tools, any type of advantages um, compared to like what there's out there right now, you guys can take advantage of. And obviously, in the upcoming videos, I'll be sharing some of the strategies that we use, some of the tools, secret spy tools that we have now that we share with our, you know, uh, so a lot, some of the students that we work with, um, because we do have uh, an, an actually a P2P accelerator, that's what we, we named it, or where we pretty much bring any students come in there and we teach them everything they need to know from A to Z when it comes to e-commerce and drop shipping. And we only share with them some of the you know, secret spy tools that we use to find pretty much any hot and trending product at the time. But that tool, that tool right there is actually a tool that back then we didn't even have access to. So now it's like a completely, you know, hold of the ball game because there's so many tools and resources you can use now. It's like, it's kind of hard to not get results actually. So the next one we're going to have is, and you guys might think, I'm usually not into the whole, you know, mindset, um, any of that, believing that mindset, if you just manifest things, it's going to work out. I'm usually not really like huge on that. I believe, yeah, you can manifest some things to happen, but if you don't take action, there's no way that things will continue to happen or actually end up happening. So that's my kind of approach on it. Uh, but again, nothing against manifesting or any of that stuff. I'm just not too big on it or just thinking that a specific mindset will make things work. But a mindset you guys do want to have is you do want to be very optimistic. Opti my spelling is terrible. Uh, optimistic. You do want to be very optimistic. And the reason why you want to be optimistic is because within e-commerce and job shipping, it's such a huge opportunity. Obviously, you can make money with e-commerce and job shipping. No question about it. You guys think people are doing it online all over the place. Actually, 
I can show you guys, you know, how it's been looking for us, you know, for the month here. So you can see here, this is for the month so far. We have about 14,000, you know, so obviously we're doing it. There's other people doing it. It's, there's no question about it that obviously it's a good opportunity. But the skill sets that you learn with an e-commerce and drop shipping is really where the value is because the fact that the skill sets that you have when it comes to being able to set up a website that converts, you know, converts the customers into making into actually buying, being able to find hot and trending products, being able to advertise and run ads that's going to bring more traffic and business to a website, those are powerful skill sets that pretty much any business needs. So if you can you know, master these skill sets, you pretty much always have opportunities coming your way. You know, now that we've been able to get these results that we have, you know, we get endless opportunities. We get offers from, you know, different businesses where they want us to come in and actually do the same thing that we did for our business, which is drive more traffic online, you know, really targeted traffic and help them just consistently find other products and competitors' products that they can actually take advantage and, and, and sell themselves. So we get you know offers like that all the time. We also get offers, obviously, for people that want us to coach them on how to run successful e-commerce and dropshipping business and a lot more. The end, pretty much the opportunities are endless. So that's why when it comes to e-commerce and dropshipping, you have to think about is it worth you know trying to test out a business that has very minimal um, you know entry to get started. You know the most a thousand bucks compared to the possible opportunities if you do master and you're able to crush it. So that's kind of the mindset I had, you know, when coming in. I didn't know anything about running any kind of online business, internet marketing, nothing. So for anyone just getting started, don't worry because I've been there. I had no experience. Um, you know, I didn't know how any kind of internet business worked. And, you know, we were able to go from that to obviously having one of our biggest months, which some of you guys know was like around 224,000. So that's absolutely insane. And this year we're probably gonna cross you know, we're already super close to crossing that million dollar mark within specifically Shopify dropshipping sales. But, you know, it's incredible because obviously it all started as just uh, an opportunity or just um, an experiment, honestly. So uh, for those of you guys, I think considering to get started e-commerce and dropshipping, I, I hope you guys got value from this list that I put together for you guys. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up, leave me a like for the boy, also leave me some feedback. Let me know if there's other things you think I missed or uh, something else that you needed to get started or what else you want to know about, but also make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Dude, this thing right here. <laughs> uh.